Today, on the Super Brick Building channel, I decided to show you this little roller coaster I made. So before we start this video, I just wanted to tell you that I got a new Minecraft skin. So I'll be using this in most of my Minecraft videos. It looks like my regular Super Brick Building logo, just with a minifigure head on top. If we go look at the back of it, we have my little Super Brick Building cape. So, was one day playing around with redstone and its mechanics, I had this idea for a little redstone contraption, and I searched over YouTube to find tutorials on how to make it, and I couldn't find any, so I just had to build this on my own, and I just wanted to show you uh, it on today's video. This is the ticket booth, this is a place where you could get some snacks, you go down, and you go on this cobblestone path over to this little building, where you would Give whoever's right here your ticket and get in by standing on these two pressure plates. Make some minecart go over here. Then you go forward. Here it is. Go down this hill, sort of stone tunnel, up, down the under the bridge, and then you're in this little chamber. You get launched. Oh, and then you get launched out. Bounce on the pool. Bounce on the ground. Bounce on the ground again. Oh, looks like one of the rails. Oh, where's the minecart? So, so before I show you how this works, remember to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. And tell me if you think uh, my launcher over here should be in everybody's roller coaster. So first, I want to show you how this works. So, when you're going off of the uh, launcher, and you bounce on these little carpets, Your the cactus will break the minecart when it lands on here, and then the minecart will fall through these rails and into these hoppers, which are both facing straight down. Then you have some hoppers under them, which are facing towards sand, or actually this dispenser that I have right here, which when the items or the minecart goes and hits the hopper, it goes inside the hopper, and it transfers the items to the dispenser. Now when you go on this pressure plate, it makes these rails power, and this pressure plate dispenses the minecart, which, since the rails are powered, that means the minecart would go over here, and then you would go on your business. Now how this works is you have some carpets with slime blocks under them, which means when you fall on them, you'll bounce. And they'll still bounce even if you fall onto the carpets with slime blocks under them. Now here's how the redstone over here works for the launcher. So what I have here is two observers with the arrows facing away from each other. And I have a piston that will pull the observers away from each other so the redstone won't keep blinking on and off like it does right here. So here's how it works. The red part of the observer is the part that the redstone signal will come out of, which is where, I, where this blinking redstone will come out of, and we have a repeater, which makes this redstone go on and off, powers this piston go off every two ticks. It also powers this repeater, which we'll actually have to do some math right here, where we add the tick of this repeater and this repeater, which is three ticks, so that means this redstone will go off every three ticks, which will go power this block, which powers this redstone torch, which powers this block, and then a redstone torch it keeps going up to a piston, and then it powers the piston to keep going on and off. So, what happens over here is you come in, my coat jumps, it hits this block so it doesn't go and jump over the slime block, it bounces up off of the slime block, and then this slime block bounces it out, and then it hits this one, which has slime blocks underneath the carpet. I use cyan carpets to disguise it with the blue water. We bounce up, and then to this carpet, bounce up, and then to this carpet, and then to the rails. So if you're wondering about the measurements, the measurements from this slime block all the way up to this slime block is 13 blocks, and the distance between this one 
this slime block, and these slime blocks are also 13 blocks, and then this slime block thing to this slime block thing is actually 9 blocks, and then it would be 3 or 4 blocks to this one, and then uh, it would just bounce and then stop here. So I didn't really get to show the tower much, so I have another little redstone contraption that shows the exact same. So you have the observers, and then we have the redstone, which you don't actually need a repeater right here, but I just removed it to make it more simple. So basically, I didn't really get to show this part of the tower as much. So the redstone goes out, blinking on and off. And then we have it set to ticks, which makes this blink on and off. And then powers this block, which powers this redstone torch. And the power that goes into this block is blinking on and off, which makes the torch blink on and off, which powers this block, which powers this redstone torch. And it basically, it just goes all the way up till you get this one, which blinks on and off, which transfers the power to this piston, which makes it move back and forth. And as you already know, the minecart would go over here, hit the wall so it doesn't jump over, bounce up, and then bounce out. Before I forget, this is something else you can do that's lots of fun. You can type in any name of a spawn egg in Minecraft. So, just gonna get a horse spawn egg, and I have some other spawn eggs like a wolf, panda, and a wandering trader. Now, I think the wandering trader is funny because it also spawns two llamas, which are carried around with him on a lead. So, what I'm gonna do, just make the minecart go like this. The wandering trader's in here, he's going off. And then he pulls the llamas with him on the lead, and then the llamas just get dragged along. So here we go, the wandering trader is going up and down because his lead's broke. Now he's going to go, fall down. Now he's just not doing anything in the hop. So you can do this with any mobs, so I'm going to decide to do this with a panda. Just gotta push it off a little bit, and there it goes. It's kind of weird because it's like shaking all around. I'm gonna do one with a dog. If you can manage to get these animals and all sorts of other creatures of Minecraft into the minecarts, I think it's pretty funny just watching them go around. So there you have it, the finished minecart roller coaster. If you like this video, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe, and leave a comment below, and tell me in the comments if you think this would be a good addition to your roller coaster, or any roller coaster. Also, tell me if this would be useful in any of, like, a survival project, which you won't get hurt on this, even though you're falling down, because you're falling down on slime blocks, which will not hurt you when you fall on it. So I hope you enjoyed the slime block launcher video and bye bye